Welcome to Lulu's Way. I'm Lulu and I'm glad you're here. Today I'm going to do a little bit of cooking in the kitchen and show you how I make um, eggplant and tofu. Those are two things that um, are on the food plan. Um, those are two things that are typically um, cooked by frying and uh, melting cheese on it and all that. We're not going to do that. It's going to be Lulu's Way food plan approved. I'm gonna dance by myself like nobody's watching Don't really care if my rhythm's off Cause I'm gonna dance like nobody's watching me So, I have this little gadget and it's called a tofu press. I'm gonna put the link in the description for it. It's not cheap, um, considering that it's just a hunk of plastic. All it is is plastic. It's not cheap. Um, I think it's about $40. Um, I think for, for what it can do, it's worth the value. That's why I bought it. Right here is a, a, is a picture of that, of that press. That's what, this is what the press looks like. It's a square container that you put the block of tofu in and now you just take that top piece and you put it on top um, of the tofu and then you press it down and lock it in and it presses it down. So I did that with this block of tofu. I put it in the fridge overnight. What we're doing is we're getting the water out of it. When, it, when the water's in it, it's very spongy. It's kind of like that spongy tofu texture that a lot of us don't enjoy. Um, but um, this way, it, 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 you get the water out of it. It, it gets, it's more of like a, more dense. So this is what it looks like. It's been in the, it's been in the uh, fridge overnight. So if you can see, it has the water at the top, see? It's been pressing the tofu and all the water has come to the top. So now I'm just gonna pour all the water out of it. That's how much water was in that block of tofu, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna just unlock this top. It comes right off, it has this big huge spring with a lot of force. Now I'm going to drop it right out. So now it's, it's really firm. It's, it's not spongy anymore because all the water's out of it. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to slice it up and I'm going to bake it and I'm going to show you how I do that. I'll get my pan, I'll get my oil spray. This is what I use instead of Pam spray. I have a oil dispenser spray that I put my own oil in. So that's an avocado oil. Okay, got my little cutting board and I'll get my big knife. Okay, so I'm going to get eight slices and I want them to all be um, as, as even in size as possible so that they'll cook the same. So come on over and I'll show you. Okay, so in order for me to make these all the same size, I'm going to, I'm going to show you how I do this. So now I'm going to cut it in half. I'm going to cut each half in half. And then I'm going to cut each quarter in half. There you go. And that's how I get them as close to the same, same size as possible. So now I'm going to put them on this sheet like this. Like that. However it works for you. Okay. You don't want them touching each other. Okay, so now I'm going to use 
this um, liquid aminos. So this is, um, as it says right here, it's, a, it's used as a soy sauce alternative. So soy sauce is just fine. You just want to check your ingredients. You want to make sure there's no sugar in your ingredients, okay? So I like to put a little layer of soy sauce on each one like this. I go like this and I just rub it with my finger. Gives it a little bit of color, gives it a little saltiness. So we don't have to salt this. That's what I do. If you were using soy sauce, I'm going to say it would be a little bit darker, which would, which would be nice. But this is what I have. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to use is smoked paprika. Surprise, surprise. So let me show you what I'm going to do here. Okay. A nice layer. smoky paprika on each piece how awesome is that okay now I'm gonna bake these in my little toaster oven at 400 degrees for half an hour so we'll come and check those in a half hour I'm going Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make eggplants. So I have these two eggplants that I got the other day and I'm going to take the stickers off. Give them a rinse. There we have it. So for this one, I'm going to get the I'm going to get the bigger cutting board, and I'm going to get this big container with a lid. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cube this up. I'm going to cube it. I'm going to put all the cubes in here. I'm going to put some seasonings in. I'm going to put the cover on. I'm going to shake it. Come on over here and I'll show you. So I'm going to cut the top off right here. Cut the little bottom stem off. Stand it up. I'm going to cut it right down the middle. And then from here, I'm going to cut down the middle. I'm going to cut over here. I cut this, this at a little angle. So I get right that right in half. Then I'm going to go like this. See that? Nice big chunks. This one right down the middle. Down the side. Down the side. This one over here, cut off the top, bottom piece, put these right in the compost bin, right over here. This one right down the middle.
there we have it. A nice big container filled with diced eggplant. Big, big dice, a large dice. Okay, so now seasonings of your choice. Smoked paprika would be great. Something that's gonna give it some color because um, it's just, it's gonna be, if I baked it right like this, it would just kind of be white. It would, it would still be delicious by itself, but it, it's just doesn't, uh, wouldn't be appealing to the eye. But when you give it some color with some like, like a smoked paprika, like that kind of color, you give it that reddish color and then it, it, it cooks in the oven. It looks really nice. I discovered a new spice mix. Last, uh, last week when Laura and I went to the health food store at the town next door um, to get um, the dandy blend, I found this and I said, I'm going to try this. Vaquero Steak Street Tacos is the brand. And it's a mix of, it's a grill seasoning. Um, and the ingredients are sea salt, paprika, garlic, onion, cumin, guajillo chili, black pepper, ancho, coriander, chipotle. This is good. This is really good. So I'm going to coat this eggplant with this because I think it would be delicious. Um, before I found this, I would do smoked paprika, uh, hot paprika, uh, some garlic powder, salt and pepper, but this, this will take care of it all. So I'm going to show you what I do. I'm going to nice generous coating of this. You can smell, you can smell the cumin. I'm going to put this on like this. Give it a shake. Let's see if I used enough. A little bit more, I think. And I think for even a little bit more richer color, I'm going to put some of this hot paprika. Because this is like a, a deeper red. But that, the flavor from that, oh man, is it good. Okay, so there's, there's some heat. Okay, now look at that. See how good that looks? So I'm gonna get my, my handy round pan here. I'm gonna give it a spray. So my eggplant doesn't stick. And I'm going to pour this on like this. So I'm going to put this as in, in a single, single layer as much as possible. Get the whole bottom filled up nice like that. Then the rest of the stuff can go on top. No problem. So I'm going to put this in my toaster oven at 400 for a half an hour. I'm going to see what that looks like. So I'm doing the tofu 400 for a half hour and this at 400 for a half hour. And then it can always go in some more if it needs it. I'm, all I want this to do is to be soft because undercooked eggplant is not delicious. You know, undercooked broccoli with it has a little crunch is still good. Undercooked carrots are okay with a little bit of a crunch. Undercooked eggplant is nasty. So you don't want to do that. As soon as the tofu comes out, we'll throw this in and come back later. So the tofu dinged, so it's ready. And here it is right here. See, they're nice and, they get crispy. They get, um, they get very, very firm. So you've, you've lost that kind of spongy feel that 
most of us don't enjoy with the tofu. So I'm going to get this little container. like fried without being fried. No frying. So now we're going to put the eggplant in. So we're going to do 400 for half an hour and see what that looks like. Oops. Okay. Oops. Yeah. So, uh, when I use this, when I use this tofu, what I do is I usually cut it and put it on top of a salad and I cut it like this with my scissors. So what I would do on top of my salad when this is cold, I'd go like this. So you see it's, it's still, it's still, um, white and, um, soft in the middle, but it's, it's crunchy on the outside. And that's what I do. I just cut them like that in little pieces and that goes on top of my salad. And that's how I do baked tofu Lulu's way. I've been trying to cope since you ran away. I've been feeling lost. I've been feeling pain. So my eggplant just dinged. Let's just check it out. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. It's nice and soft, very soft. See how soft that is? I don't think it needs a minute more. It's, it's a beautiful color. Now uh, it's got the, the flavors of that new spice mix that I, that I got. I'm telling you, it's gonna be good. So I am going to put a meal together right now. I have some cooked grain in the fridge. And it's something that I don't normally use. In fact, it's the very first time I bought it. When I was at that health food store the other day, when Laura was getting the dandy blend, I got that wonderful new spice mix, which by the way, I found on Amazon. So I'll put the link in the description so you can see um, what a, the, the, the brand of it and the ingredients in it. Um, I also bought a bag of spelt, S-P-E-L-T. It's a grain. It's a wheat. It's a form of wheat. So if you're, if you're, if you're gluten-free, you don't want to have this. So this is what it looks like cooked. It's just wheat. I cooked it in a, um, in a veggie stock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my my favorite plate to eat out of, which is just, it's just like a, um, like a quiche pan or something. I don't know what it is. I got it at the thrift store. Many people have asked me about this plate. And when you ask me about it, I send you a link to something in Amazon that's comparable because like I said, I got this at a thrift store. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to weigh out my 16 ounces of eggplant right here. Now I could do less than 16 ounces of this and I could also put in some, some chopped tomatoes or onions or I could do anything I, anything I want, but I'm going to do the full 16 of the, um, of the eggplant. So now, you know, when you're cooking this at home, uh, you know, your, your timing might be different than mine because this, um, uh, is in a, in a toaster oven. Your, your product is very, very close to the elements. So it, you know, you might need more time 
um, to get this the color and the to have it done so just you just want to cook it until it's it's soft but not falling apart okay what I like to do with my grain is I like to make a little spot in the middle and that's where I like to put my grain and yes I use my fingers some people are offended by that sorry I use my the, my, my best utensils I have right here So I am going to weigh this out. Uh, for me, in maintenance, I have five ounces of grain. In the reducing plan, it is four ounces of grain. Yeah, so do you believe that? Some people actually write to me and tell me that I'm disgusting because I pick up food with my fingers. It's my food. It's my fingers. <laughs> it's, I don't cook for anybody else. I don't know. I don't know. So that's that. Now I'm going to top it with my tofu, which has cooled. Um, let me get my scissors. And this has gotten even more firm. When it sits, it gets really firm. So what, what, what originally would crumble, because tofu cr crumbles, um, is now nice and firm, really firm and um, dense. It's just delish. So I'm going to get... Um, Four ounces of this. There it is. That's not how much of the whole um, tofu block I... Uh, I used in this um, my son had some he's been filming me and he was like that kind of looks good <laughs> so he had a, he had a couple okay so now we've got that and I think what I'm gonna do to give it a little bit of color make it pretty I'm gonna chop up some of my uh, fresh chives that I got from my garden so this uh, herbs and spices do not need to be weighed so I am going to just snip this on the top give it a pretty green color and I need my oil I'm going to do avocado oil 0.5, 0 0.5, there it is, and some salt and pepper, I got pink salt, white pepper, and there is my lunch. It's time for lunch, and I can't wait to dive into this delicious eggplant and tofu. So let me tell you something quick. Um, I put the link to the tofu press that I have. Uh, when I went in looking for the link, I see that there's so many different kinds, and there's ones that are a lot cheaper than the one I have. When I got mine, it was years ago. I don't think there were any other ones. I mean, I think it was the only one I ever heard of. So... Um, I paid that money for it. So go in my link, the one I have, that will bring you to the tofu presses and then you can look for other ones while you're in there. Um, and I mean, it's not a complicated instrument. It's, I, I mean, how how much less quality can it be if it's less money? So I say, I say get one that's less expensive. All right, so let's see what we got here. I'll try that. The spelt is so good. It's so chewy and mm. I'm gonna try the tofu. Mm. Mm. Perfect texture. It's a little chewy. It's so good. 
it's very smoky because of the smoked paprika, so it's smoky. Mm. Mm. Let's try this eggplant with that funky new spice mix I have. Mm. Mm. That is absolutely perfect. Perfect. Perfect texture, perfect flavor. You can really taste the cumin. So it gives it kind of like a, like an Indian flavor. Is cumin Indian? <laughs> On the bottle it says Taco Street is the brand name of it. Um, and that seems like it would be Mexican. So I think cumin is Mexican, but I don't know why something about, about this flavor reminds me of Indian. Indian food. Now, let me tell you another idea for this eggplant. I used 16 ounces of eggplant, but you could make eggplant parmesan out of this because you could put 12 ounces of eggplant, four ounces of a tomato sauce, find a tomato sauce that doesn't have oil in it and doesn't have sugar in it. Um, they can, I, I find mine in the can. It's, I think it's the Whole Foods brand, 365 brand, but I think this other, this other brands, just look at your label. If it's got fat in it, it's not going to count as the veg. If it has sugar in it, it's a no-go. Just look for a pure tomato sauce that's nothing but like tomatoes and tomato puree and some seasonings. You put four ounces of tomato sauce on top of 12 ounces of eggplant. And then for your protein, you could put two ounces of cheese on top of it and melt it. You know? Why not? Mm -mm. So I'm going to go and finish this lunch. It's absolutely spectacular. The flavors and the textures, perfection. And no matter what I do, I just feel like I do. And one last thing I'm going to show you, as I had promised, is I'm going to show you how I make overnight oats. You can have oatmeal without, in, it, the way it works for me, I don't have to cook it. It doesn't taste like it's not cooked. It's just, it's just oats that get soft and then the next morning they're ready. So I'm going to get my oatmeal out. I keep it in this jar. So I'm going to weigh out my oatmeal. Um, on maintenance, I do two and a half ounces, but on the reducing plant, it's two ounces. I'm gonna put two and a half ounces in here. There it is. And I'm gonna go grab my cinnamon. I'm going to I'm getting low. Oh, I think I bought another one. I did buy another one. So let me get the bottom out of it. Get the rest out of this. I think I'm gonna to have to open the new one. Okay. Get a little bit more cinnamon in it. There we go. Oh, that's good, right there. Okay, I'm going to get a tiny bit of salt, like that much. I guess that's not a tiny bit. <laughs> so what works for me is um, one and a half times the water. So if this was two ounces of oatmeal, I would put three ounces of water because that's one and a half times. Two and a half um, would be is 
there it is. Okay, so I'm going to give it a stir like this so it all gets wet. So it all gets wet. And I'm going to cover this and that's just going to sit overnight. And guess what I'm going to do in the morning? I'm going to open it up and I'm going to dice an apple in it and I'm going to put some uh, pecans on it, maybe some almond butter, whatever you want, whatever you want on it. Um, if I'm going to put nuts on it, it would be two ounces of nuts. If I was going to put an apple on it, I would dice one apple. If I'm going to put blueberries, it would be six ounces of blueberries. Um, now, if you like your oatmeal a little bit runny, then you'd want to add more water. Me, I like it to just, I like it to have no water. Um, I just want it to be cinnamony oatmeal and um, I just want it to not be raw and I don't want to cook it. So this is what I do. And this is great for the van because at night before I go to bed, I just set this up and the next morning I'm ready to just, you know, put some fruit and nuts on it and I'm good. Um, you know, you might, you might taste like a rawness, like a, like a raw starchy feel to it. I don't, I think it's just fine just the way it is, but some people like to cook that starch out. Um, so it's just an idea. You know, um, I know somebody that makes oatmeal and cooks it forever, like just puts one serving on the stove and just, it just cooks and simmers and simmers and simmers and simmers. And it's just kind of like, what's that all about? You know, I don't know, but that's how they do it. Um, me, I just put water in it, done. So give it a try. Good morning. It's the morning. It's time for my overnight oats. So here is my overnight oats in the container that I had them sitting in overnight with the, all the cinnamon in it. And then I cut up that um, Crips apple. Mmm, my drum. That's a good apple. That's a good apple. So now, I'm just gonna mix this all together. So you see, the oatmeal is Nice and soft to me. It tastes like it was cooked. It's soft. That look good. It looks good because it is good. Mmm. Now, What would make this really good is two ounces of nuts as the protein for um, for the morning. Uh, pecans would be delicious, almonds, even um, almond butter. So you could pour like almond butter, like you could even, sometimes I'll do like one ounce of almond butter and one ounce of almonds. So I get some of the gooey sticky and I get some of the crunchy. But, For those of you that watch me and know me, uh, you know that I put some limitations around nuts, so I don't eat nuts um, anytime I want. Um, I I like to have a, a, a maximum, and for me, it's twice a week. Twice a week, I have nuts um, because I just first of all, I don't think they're the they're the most nutritious uh, protein choice to pick from, so um, I don't want to pick them all the time. Um, so I've clearly picked the days that I'm going to have nuts and today is not one of them. So I can easily enjoy this without nuts. So what I have for my protein is I cooked three eggs over easy, a little salt and pepper. I put a little bit of, um, chives from my garden. Mmm. Wow. That is delish. It's been a long time since I had over easy eggs. Because I always do scrambled like in an omelet with um with rice. Mmm. 
Well, those eggs are pretty delish. And so is my overnight oats. Give them a try. Um, I don't, I don't know why anybody bothers cooking it. I don't know why anybody bothers cooking it when it tastes good like this, but um, to each their own. And bye for now. No matter what I do, I just feel like I do what I do.